Now that our service is working really good, it's uploading images, it's deleting images. Now we're gonna add on to it a little bit more. And what we're trying to do is, is resize images before we push them up to our Azure storage account. Let's say somebody wants to upload a 3000 pixel image. What we're gonna do is grab that image, we're gonna shrink it down to 100 pixels, then push it up to our storage account. Now to really save us on memory size, and also we don't really need huge images for profile pics. So we're gonna be resizing images in this video. The first thing we'll need to do is install in a NuGet package and it's called Six uh, Labors Image Sharp. And here is the link for that and you'll find that down in the description. Also, I found a really good example on GitHub and I'm gonna be copying and pasting a lot out, out of that. It's gonna save on time and I'll also have this link down in the description. And also I'll have a, a link called Snippets and that's gonna be the code that I finish in this video. You'll find that down in the description. If you click on that, you, you copy and paste that as well. Uh, let's go and get our NuGet package installing a while. This is the NuGet package that we're going to need. So copy this. And we want to install this in the service folder. So paste and install. Okay, so now that we have this installed, let's go and check out that second link. And this is a really good uh, GitHub example of what we need to do inside of our application. And the piece of code that I'm after, for now anyways, we're gonna have to jump back and forth and copy a lot of these pieces. Like we're gonna need this method up here and we'll need this section and uh, a few other things. But right now what I'm after is this right here. So just copy this, this piece here. And then if we go back to our project, let's open up our service, our Azure storage service. And then inside of the method, the upload method, within the using, you wanna just paste that right here. Let's shrink this down so we uh, can see better. And we'll just work our way down, knocking the errors out. Uh, like we'll need to pull this in. Uh, let's get rid of this actually, and pull in the image. And you wanna pull that in from six labors image sharp. And then this is gonna be the stream actually. So you want to pass the stream in there. Let's set up our, our thumb width, copy this, and I'll add a variable right here. And the width I want is 100 pixels, so 100, and that's all we need to do with that. That should get rid of that error, and the rest is looking good. We need to pull in the mutate, pull that in from here. Okay, and then the encoder, Again, we'll have to uh, copy and paste that if we jump back in here again. And that is this piece here. And we'll change this around also. Copy this. Jump back here again and throw that right here. And then here we need to pass in the file name. So uh, just replace this with file, file name. Okay, and that should get rid of that error. This is the get encoder method that they have in the snippet. We'll just jump in there and grab that. And that's up here. So copy this section. Go back here again. And I'll throw that right at the bottom, like uh, right below this method. And then we need to pull in a bunch of stuff for this. Start at the top and work our way down. Pull this in from right here. And this one from here, that should take care of both of them, great. And then we need to pull all these in. And last but not least, this one here. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Again, you'll find this snippet down in the description. I'll have a snippets link. You can just click on that and you'll get a finished version of this page. And then you can just copy and paste it. So this is done. We can uh, close this down, close this back down, clean it up a little bit. Okay, so if we go back up here and all these errors are done and this is gonna be our blob. Blob and get rid of this. Don't need that anymore. And that's all we re really need to do. Um, now that this is done, let's test it, make sure that it's actually working, it's actually resizing our images. So save it and then open up the command line and let's restart the application. So I'm going to navigate into our API. 
And now that that is running, I'll open up Postman. So this net core image, that is this image we uploaded earlier. And keep in mind, this is 35. So this should shrink after we upload it. If we go back to here, like this image, uh, where is that right here? If we check this out, check out the properties. And this is 35. So this is gonna sh uh, shrink down a lot once we, we, sh we shrink this down to 100 pixels. If we check this out, this is currently 688 pixels wide. And it's gonna be 100 pixels wide after we're done testing. So let's test this out, make sure it's working. So if we go here, I'm gonna leave all the settings pretty much the same. The, the ID, the tokens should still be good, like our token right here. Uh, all this should, should still be good. So if we hit send and we got the same image in here and that's the net core image. So let's hit send. Okay, so everything's still working and that's good. And if we go back here and this after we hit refresh should be a lot smaller now. So let's hit refresh. And here's the image we just uploaded. And as you can see, it's shrunk down a lot. Also, if we click on this and click on this, and if we want to check it out, I'll download it and check it out. Okay, so I downloaded the image and I dropped it in here. And as you can see, it even looks a little different. And if you hover on it, the dimensions is 100 pixels wide now. You can even set the height to it to 100 pixels if you want like a, a perfect square. And that is how you resize an image. So now that this is all done, now in the next video, what we're going to do is start working on the front end, the spa, start set it, setting up our Angular application where we can upload images from there. And we'll start on, the, on that next. So I'll see you then. Thank you.